For the longest time, even in the face of the massive popularity of Tyrannosaurus, Allosaurus remains one of the most well-known theropod dinosaurs. Despite this, it made only a small appearance in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which would be its first proper on-screen appearance in the Jurassic Park franchise. No mention of it is made in either of Crichton's novels. However, by this point, Allosaurus has already had a presence in the franchise, albeit in a unique way. The merchandise, notably the toy lines. The first example is the superb figure from Kenner's Dano Damage Medical Center, released for The Lost World in 1997. This figure, sporting fine sculpt and paint detail, featured the most removable dino damage pieces of any figure released at that time. Sixteen years later, Hasbro then held the Jurassic license, and in 2013 released a new Allosaurus figure for the Dino Showdown lineup, which sported a unique, colorful paint palette, a sculpt with very lizard-like features, and excellent articulation with removable dino damage to boot. With the release of Jurassic World in 2015, a new but extremely underwhelming toy line followed it, and the Basherbiter Allosaurus was one of several examples that demonstrated the quality in this line. The details are comparatively softer than those on his predecessors, and the paintwork lacks proper blending. Together with flimsy construction, this Allosaurus is a very poor figure. Jump to 2018 with the release of Fallen Kingdom. Mattel has now been given the toy license, and in the ever-growing expanse of toys made for the movie came another Allosaurus figure. This one has more pronounced teeth with a flatter head, with good care taken with overall sculpt detail. Paint apps are notably minimal, compared to those released previously. Being a part of the Roarivores lineup, this Allosaur comes with electronic sounds. For 2019, Mattel introduced a new Allosaurus for the Dino Rivals line. Detail-wise, it has various scale and skinfold details with the addition of quill-like spines similar to those on the 2013 Allosaur. The paintwork is a simple three-way scheme of two shades of blue and a tan underside. Slashing claws and biting jaws make up the action features. Overall, the figure differs greatly in design from Mattel's previous figure. And that concludes our look at the figures made for Allosaurus throughout the years in the Jurassic Park toy lines. Special thanks to Red Hanya and Savage Grenadier 25 for their contributions to the video. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more. Oh,